All right, so for the people on the, I didn't know, like day-to-day -day liars, right? Um, as if they didn't know. The I was in a real estate business for people who, whatever. Uh, a real estate, like, has a conference once a year, usually in Las Vegas, so there's either an opportunity in the airport, which I've run into people, not that I knew who they were. Uh, there's, um, I mean, like they stop me and they want to talk for a little bit, which is fine. One guy had a daughter named Kim who wanted to know about short sales and would I help her? I said, well, uh, yeah, absolutely. I said, of course, you know, I said, you could just have her call me, but if she's not looking to sell, you know, um, and I'm not really in your area. I was like, loan modification might be better if she wants to stay, whatever. So I gave him my number. Then there was three commercial or industrial real estate agents. I had a layover, I think, somewhere when I was leaving one of the conferences. Um, and I think some one of them was in oil. The other one was like, did real estate and commercials. I'm like, okay, yeah, I don't. Again, uh, I'm like, I'm residential. So, um, so, I mean, like, but even the local stuff, like, sometimes, like, the mortgage people put, I mean, like, because, again, nobody's going through, like, your file and researching which mortgage company's holding what event. And if, you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it's, like, so stupid. I mean, I've been to so many real estate functions for downstate New York with Hector, I mean, you want to talk about how does social etiquette work and, like, you want to just observe a room to see who's in the local spy network, like, keeping an eye on me to report back to, like, the criminals to keep me locked up and jammed up because, like, everything in Hector's network in downstate New York is either Asian of, like, the venereal disease kids or some form of Hispanic. There's few of us white in between, I'm just saying. But, I mean, I went. I was whatever. But you want to go to one of those? I mean, like, you could just sit there. Nobody would even know. You know what I'm saying? Like, you can do cross-bioterrorism and watch the real bioterrorists from Far East Asia that now call themselves Americans. Uh, so you could have done that while I was working in Exit. Then, like, you go up to Canada. Or actually, they came down to, I think, Colorado or, no, Nevada. They went to Nevada also. Again, it's like a four- or five-day conference. They educate you on, like, three or four days, and then there's in-between times when you walk around and there's nothing to do. So, I mean, like, anyone, like, you have no idea who really works for the company. It's an independent contractor business. And it's not like there's police going like, hey, you really work for Exit? And it's like 20 bucks for business cards. You want to talk about a fraudulent ability to like get in front of anybody. So now management, I'm just curious. Um, if you want to get the Nazi on the phone, the his size Soviet, right, the Vlad, his size Soviet wants to know, since I'm the only approved one woman without a shadow of a doubt that 100% of humans agree is a Soviet, right, um, without venereal disease in my eye, right, got it. So now, is it, are we still sore over the fact that I gave him the respectable four-letter name of Nazi and then I kept the six-letter name? Does it matter that I have more letters in my fanciness for him to get to me? I thought we were right. There was a reason for that. Besides the fact I was in enemy territory with the bad information kids from the GI-sponsored throw-up whatever between why is Grumman closing and why is Levittown all a mess and why are they sending the good rhino guardsmen to like weird undisclosed like new lives in like the 1990s and leaving all the criminals like the Peter Otto Romers from 1948, the criminals still in Levittown un without a babysitter. Hello? 
oh, is that your plan, all useless and fucking assholes, was to just move the Latin kings in from South America in like, here, here's some Guatemalan, here's some Honduran, here's some El Salvador, here's some Ecuador, and you can't say anything, because whatever. We sent your guardsmen away. Uh, hello? Anybody in superhero territory want to, like, wake the fuck up? I mean, I know you didn't catch it in 1990, but, like, I mean, we're in 2020. Anybody want to, like, make good on that? Like, I swear I'm, I swear I work for the good guys. Yeah, and who might they be? I'm just, I've been looking my whole life. I haven't found any of you. Tia Frio's got some fun relative in the U.S. Pentagon. He's done me absolutely no service whatsoever and no good. I mean, I've had to live with his uh, piece of shit transvestite kid. I went to go visit in a nice whatever, because I'm a good person, his parents down in North Carolina. And Tia Frio takes me to some crack den with some dark-skinned um, NFL player who I think went to like Michigan State or something and nobody gives a shit. I mean, like, nice guy. I mean, he was a really nice guy, but I mean, he, he's as nice as Tia Frio. I mean, it doesn't fucking matter. Nobody gives a shit. And I don't want to be in this colostomy. And so like, then it's like a whole night of like draining Anthony's bank account so these two can go smoke crack in North Carolina. And I'm in the back seat going like, uh, can we, like, are we almost done? Can we go? I mean, I'm in North Carolina. I don't have family. I don't have friends. I don't have, they're in my car. I can't get them out. I mean, what do you do? This is the type of security you've left me with in New York since 1978. With, like, the U, like, the U.S. Pentagon's nephew... And his brother's an airman. Great. So he used to fly a plane. Fucking whoop de doo He couldn't fucking help out getting T. Frio out of my fucking life in like 2010, 11? Before I got pregnant with the kid that I really didn't need? Hello? I mean, it just fucking gets worse and worse and worse.